Alright guys, so I decided to do something special for today. I'm doing an Attack on Titan Legacy uh, Top 10 Sales video. Now, if you don't know, um, Attack on Titan Lettuce, Attack on Titan Legacy is simply the Attack on Titan NFT collection. They're all trading cards. I'm going to show you guys what they look like in general right here. So let's go ahead and go get started. So right here you can see what they look like. Uh, they have pictures of them. They have rotating pictures. Uh, the, it's called a moment, the reference does. And essentially what happens is that it, it plays a video. It has the, the subtitles right there down below. It says the description of the moment. Each, of, each moment has its own serial number. Um, it says the amount, uh, the size in it. And this is what a legacy card looks like. Or a legendary card looks like. So it's that rainbow. It's pretty gorgeous. I just say so myself. Um, so it's basically just a video. Um, this is what the cards look like. It says the episode season, the time that it's from, episode title, the characters, relevant characters in the scene. It's a lot of details. So if you're really in Attack on Titan, this is the end of the project for you. Um, they had a uh, good mint for the first packs. And I'm going to show you guys the marketplace. These are the top 10 sales so far in Attack on Titan. Now, they're all legendary cards. I'll say that much. In order to get a, leg a legendary card, you had to go ahead and buy the first drop pack for $300. Uh... It gets you one. Let me just show you what, what it's in my uh, profile because my profile, I got one myself. It comes with one legendary, three rare, and six commons. Uh, OE is open edition, so there's no real like cap to the mint. Um, I guess they put 3,000 right here for these. LE is limited edition, so that it's a limited mint. Uh, they're not going to make more than whatever's set right here for each card. And then uh, this is the legendary, what it looks like. They're all moments. They all have the video animations stuff like that. But the legendary ones are in the top, like, 25, 100%. Nothing, nothing breaks top 25, 5. That is a legendary card. So the top sale is actually the weight of the world. Um, it's what we just watched. It's whenever Aaron carries the boulder to, f uh, carry the, to plug the hole. Let's look at it right here. The last sale, you can see, is $450. Uh, it's a pretty nice moment. I wanted this one personally for good reason. Uh, just a heads up, one thing that's pretty interesting is that for this uh, project specifically, every single card has a special card that's basically the crown of that card. So you can see all the edition collectors right here. Um, if you if you look right next to the right number, it will tell you which one's supposed to be the special number. So for instance, if we go to my profile and we go to my legendary card, we can see which card is the crowned card, the card that is worth the most. Uh, even though they're all the same edition, and even though they're all the same uh, similarity, there is a crowned card. In this case, it's number 30 because of Aaron's birthday. I believe it is uh, on the 30th or something like that. So it usually co coincides with birthdays. Um, but yeah, so number 30 of this card that I have right here, Five Year Long Revenge, is actually the more rare card because it has a crown next to it, and that's what you can tell. Um, so back to what's important. Uh, Weight of the World sold for $450. Number 18, not the crowned edition of the card. Uh, this is the set it's from, which they're all from the same set right now. And it says the date and time it came from. So $450 for this card. Next one is Newfound Wings. Now, Newfound Wings actually is four of them in the top five. Weight of the World is number one and number five. Uh, Newfound Wings is two, three, four, and six. Which is pretty cool. This is what it looks like. It's whenever Aaron's falling from the sky kind of thing. And he, um, yeah, he's falling from the sky. He bites his hand. And he tr he starts, like, trying to control his, uh, Titan powers that he's just now, like, realizing. And it's a really cool scene, so I understand it. This is what really spawned the franchise. This was, like, the first plot twist in a show that's been, like, only plot twist so far. Um, right there. There you go. So. Anyways. Uh, continuing, continuing the, uh, let's see what the the mint number is for this one. All edition collectors. We can see it is number 30 again. And it's in a pack. I mean, someone hasn't opened it yet. So someone has that without even knowing that they have that right now, which is pretty cool to think about. Um, that's Newfound Wings, Way of the World. And then Off Limits is features uh, Mikasa Ackerman. You can see the featured character, by the way, right underneath the card name. Um... I don't exactly know which one. I won't let you take him out this time. Oh, okay, so it's from uh, season one, episode 24. It's whenever they're trying to... Uh, she's trying to save, I think it was Aaron, something like that, specifically. Because Andy was trying to capture Aaron, I think. Anyways, it was a, definitely a baller moment. If you just from that scene alone, look at how amazing that was. Um, I'm loving it entirely. 
So that is number six, I believe. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's number eight. And then number t uh, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13 are all the card I have, the five year long revenge. It's whenever Aaron, for the first time, uh, sees the Colossal Titan as an adult. So you do this, bada bing, bada boom. He flies up top of the wall, he looks, and then five year long revenge after not seeing the Colossal Titan for five years, he now is face to face with the Colossal Titan. A super cool card. Um, again, number 30 is the special card. Um, they have not, it has not been sold yet. I'm looking at these, none of these have actually been the crowned card. Um, I'm sure I'm sure whoever has it is just holding on to it for now But yeah, if you want to get into an if you're into anime and you want to get into NFT collection Look for something new definitely do this one. Um, you can currently buy a pack for nine dollars comes with three open edition uh, Packs there's a thousand total. It's been like a it's been a good couple weeks and uh, Like late May I think it was May 28th was this mint date and it's still ninety nine thousand seven hundred left so out of ten thousand it's still 9,700 left, so if you want, go for it. Definitely time to get inside of it. You can only get three common uh, cards, but it's better than nothing. Nothing, because on the marketplace, the cheapest card right now is I think four bucks or three bucks. Yeah, the cheapest card is three bucks right now, so you can't buy a card cheaper for three bucks. And last I checked, um, it was four bucks, so I, I guess that this is gonna be like the stable floor. So um, I would say check it out. Peace out. Have a great day, and I'll catch you guys later.